Well, good morning and welcome to our daily devotional for this Friday. This morning, uh, we're going to be looking in Revelations. And I want to give you just a little introduction first about what I'm about to talk about. First of all, in the Bible, there are uh, three types of books, basically. Uh, there are historical books, there are prophetical books, and there are poetical books. Now, will you find some history in a poetical book and some poetry in a prophetical book? Of course. But along those guidelines, you can kind of place each one of those books into those guidelines. Revelation is a prophetical book. It tells of the future. It tells of things to come. In Revelations, there's a lot of um, imagery. Um, because, obviously, if you lived in the very first century and you saw nuclear war, um, then uh, you wouldn't know how to, to describe that. So, John uses lots of words like, as though, like, those things. So when you hear those, it means that's not what really happened, but it was like what happened. So we're here in Revelations chapter 1 and verse 17. And man, I love this verse because it gives us an idea of the entire gospel uh, in this verse. Like it's something that's going on right then, but it explains everything that has happened since God created the earth. Uh, Revelation one seventeen, John said, When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and now look, I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death and Hades. So John said, When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. Now John didn't really physically die, but he fell at his feet as though he was dead. Then he placed his right hand on me, and right hand is significant. Uh, it signifies strength in the Bible. He says, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and now look, I'm alive forever and ever. This is a picture of us coming to the feet of Jesus Christ and being dead in our sins, and Christ placing his hand on us and bringing us back to life. But why? Why do we come back to the life when we give Christ our life? We come back to life because he came back to life. The resurrection is central to the gospel. And Jesus even makes that point. He goes, hey, I was dead too, <laughs> but I'm alive. So when I place my hand on you, you're alive. You are no longer dead. And everything that I have, you have. So what does he have? I am alive forever and ever. So you are alive forever and ever. I hold the keys to death. So you hold the keys to death. Death no longer has dominion over you. You have conquered it. That's why Paul says in 1 Corinthians, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? You are alive forevermore through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And this little verse right here signifies the day that God placed his right hand on you because you fell dead at his feet and said, I need you, Lord. And it's amazing, amazing imagery here in this verse. Hope you have a great weekend. For most of you, we'll see you Sunday.